Or are you in yeah. a breather? Uh -huh. I don't have time for work. Love it. Same here. We don't have time for an interview either. What does the bell mean? <laughs> it means we're rolling now. But... Rolling. Yep, there it is. We'll be back. Well, I'm officially sorry on the record for joking. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. Okay, now it's good. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? We're gonna win. Now we're rolling. <laughs> So well, let's hurry up and wait. So let's run over here. Start the interview. Okay, stop. Like that. And with that, we'll be right back. We're back. Yes, again. All right. I feel that we're really gonna do this interview this time. I don't believe you, but I'll, <laughs> I'll go with it. Okay. So probably things are moving so quickly because of this new format that you yeah. guys are doing. Um, what are you most excited to show fans? Um. I think it's going to be really cool, uh, I mean, especially for me, being a part of the, the sketches now is the fact that, you know, I, I'm i capable of doing something other than Chad Dylan Cooper, and exactly. like I can be crazy and do accents and stuff like that, and it's also cool because everybody else really gets to step up and show that, you know, we're, you know, physical comedy and uh, accents and crazy costumes and Brandon's yelling and the whole thing, you know. I know, there's <laughs> so much energy on this set, like, Right now, I know you guys can't see, but a bunch of like sailors and costumes. Yeah, there's a lot, past. Of, a lot of good stuff going on. What's like a normal day in your life like? Well, which day? Any <laughs> shoot, day, today. Shoot days, Tell me about today. Shoot days, you'll find everyone walking around in an ungodly amount of wigs and mustaches and bird beaks and really weird <laughs> stuff. And everyone's dressed up and no one can recognize anyone, which makes it exciting because you're like, Oh, da Damien, no way, you're What's Gollum, up? okay, that's What's been interesting. What's your like, favorite costume, like new character to take on? Because a lot of you guys are doing like recurring characters, yeah. right? Uh, All yeah, all SNL. Exactly, similar. of course. Um, I don't know, I um, I had one where I was Taylor Lautner from Stop New it Moon. Stop this instant, tell me everything. I got to wear a, a hideously large muscle suit which was awesome uh, amazing so that was cool I got to dye my hair black and have like you know 18 shades darker of spray tan because I'm more like Edward Cullen but um <laughs> not a bad thing either I mean no? I'm, just because I sparkle in the sunlight no clearly it works out for him it works um so yeah that was probably my favorite I got to dress up in a muscle suit so I was walking around all day and it was kind of a visualization of what I would look like if I was 220 pounds of nothing but muscle not a good look for me. No. I, I realize my head looks like that big, so <laughs> it just doesn't work. I know. I'm so excited to see. You know, I've been talking to some of your castmates, yeah. talking about all the impressions that people are doing and just all the different sketches. Um, what do you think fans are going to enjoy most in the new in the new format? Is it going to be getting to see you guys do new things, or is it going to be just like the musical guests and I, all that kind of stuff? I think it's all of it rolled into one. I mean, I grew up with um, you know watching all that and the Amanda Bynes show, which is on that oh network gosh, that we yeah. don't mention. No. Um, but <laughs> it's um. I think it's really important for kids to have a, an age-appropriate kind of sketch comedy format that they can watch. And There's a gap right now, so you guys exactly. are totally filling a yeah, gap. Yeah, we're trying to fill the gap, and you know, I used to be the same way. I was, you know, sneak up, you know, upstairs and turn on SNL real quiet and sit close to the TV and, <clears throat> yeah, you know, kind of like my parents did with Richard Pryor albums. So it's, <laughs> um, it's one of those things that it, it's, it was awesome once all that and. Keen Nickel show and Amanda Bynes show came along, so then it was like I could just watch the sketch comedy, and it's so sketch is so different from sitcom or any other totally. kind of comedy, and it's I think it's important for kids to see that. And then because like what you were telling me earlier when we were off camera is that things are constantly getting changed. So yeah. if you practice something and it doesn't work, rewrite it, yeah. redo it. A lot, it's a lot of hard work, and everybody's really talented and and working really hard. It's it's awesome to have this kind of fresh start, and everyone's got this totally. new energy. It's it's season three, but it's like, it's kind of like a season one. So yeah. everybody's like really excited and, and gung ho, and everyone shows up in the morning. And is like, all right, what are we doing? Let's do it. Stoked about life. Yeah, it's and awesome. The wigs it's great. And, and the wigs, of course, the wigs. Et cetera. Is there anything though that you miss about you know, Sunny with a Chance? Um, you know, I miss the the banter between me and Demi. That yeah. Was, I, that's always fun. The good, good, fine, fine, and all like the little quips that we had were really great. Plus, uh, I'll miss being the chauvinistic. Disney antagonist because that was awesome. So Who wait, are you playing that? your character playing these characters or is this you playing all these characters? No, no, no. It's Chad Dylan Cooper playing, playing these characters. That's what I thought. But now that he's working on the show, obviously he can't really be, be upset with the the lowly comedians because he is one now. Exactly. So and he's a everything, good actor. Exactly. He's so everything crack. everything's kind of changed for Chad now. So uh, you know, I'll, I'll miss the 
slightly darker side of him, I guess, is what I'll call it, for That's lack okay. of a better term. It's okay. <laughs> It's very exciting to be here on set. I have to say, I got to see you do your run through and do one of your sketches, which I won't tell you guys anything about. It's all got to stay mum until the show comes on on Sunday. There's a nightlight. That's There's it. A nightlight. That's all That's you get. That's all you're going to know. And you guys have some new cast members. We do. Who are we're hilarious. They're all amazingly talented, and um, I'm really excited for them to be working. I mean, I, it was not that long ago that I was eating stale oyster crackers and peas out of a can because I didn't have any money. So uh, it's it's awesome to see you know new kids that are really talented and want to work hard come in and have a job and enjoy the whole process of you know yeah. being a working actor. It's really cool. Exactly. I mean, it's awesome to be able to look back and like still really be thankful for what you have. Absolutely. Too, you know that, and I had such fantastic people that had worked that kind of helped, helped me along, along and, and show me like hey, you don't have to worry so much about this and. You think you don't have to worry about this, but it's really important. Like, yeah. you'll, you'll get fired important, you know? <laughs> right, so it's, right. It, it's cool to now be that guy. It wasn't that long ago where I was in their position looking for help and advice, and now... You're able to do that for other people. Exactly, That's and awesome. I'm still learning and whatnot, but it's yeah. it's cool to be in that slightly, you know, skewed position. It's so fun. what would you say is, like, your dream future I, I, for I, yourself as career-wise? Like Clint Eastwood, maybe? Like, you know, let me do this at 85 and direct an Academy Award winning film. Do you want to get into directing, behind the scenes stuff? And I, I would if I, if I could. I mean, um, <clears throat> I'm interested in, in all aspects of it. I think, you know, to, to really be a good actor, you need to know what's going on behind it. And I think Very true. It, it does help, you know, a, a lot of the best directors had some sort of experience with acting, whether it was like wildly successful or not, mm -hmm. is really kind of irrelevant. But, um, yeah, it helps you communicate with the actors and our weird little language that yeah. we like, as you know. Can you tell me something in actor language? Because I'm not an actor, but I would like to learn. Um, I mean, like actor language is, um, you know, there's a difference between pace and timing and a beat and a moment mm. are different things, although they sound pretty much so the same. So let's take a pause. Was that a beat or a moment? What did we just that have? That was a beat. Okay, good to know. That I was like a that. beat. <laughs> and a moment would be, all right, so we're going to stop. Okay. That's what's going on. Whoa! What just happened? Exactly. You just you take you take. I just took my moment, let something affect me, and then we moved on. So it's the, I like it's it. All I feel that like I'm cool learning stuff. so much. I try. Well, that's what happens with you know, five years of acting classes in the valley. Love it. Well, congratulations. <laughs> While you're Thank also you. random. I Appreciate know that it. I speak for our audience as well when I say that. I feel like we've been waiting forever, and it's been worth it. Right. I'm. I'm I've been, been waiting forever. I've been watching all these guys have so much fun. Now I just get to be a part of it. It's exciting. And it was nice to meet you. Pleasure. Love the Tickle Me Pink. Thank you so much. Amazing. Pleasure. Lovely. You guys stick with us right here at Clever TV for all the latest on So Random, which debuts this Sunday, June 5th. Thanks for ah. watching, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.